It's day six already of the 30 day animation challenge. I hope you've been loving the tutorial so far. Let's get to today's one. This one may look difficult to create, but what I'm going to do is actually show you how this one was created and break down all the step by step. So what I'm going to do is actually break this one down and dissect it and show you exactly how I pulled it all together. Now you can see here that when I select the image that actually the box goes way beyond the page and this is because when I decrease the size of this image you'll start to see that there is in fact four images which I have grouped if I ungroup them which I have grouped together. And this is because if they are not grouped, then the minute that we would place this off of the page area, if this wasn't grouped, we would lose these three images off to the page and we wouldn't be able to select them again. So we group the images and then what we're going to do is enlarge them so that one of the images fills the entire page. So once we have it, like filling one single page, then we have to create this curved shape here to give it that kind of cinematic scrolling feature feel. And we do this simply, if I move this down, is I have used just a simple circle shape. And the way that I have created that is by grabbing the circle shape and then enlarging it to the full size of the page and then just sitting it exactly in the middle so it's off the page but it gives us this curve and then copying another one to sit exactly underneath and that gives us the shape that we were requiring for each slide to work and then lastly all I've done is added some simple text and a logo that we can easily change or keep the same depending on what we need to do for this design in particular. Once we have the first page set up, we then duplicate it and the only change we make is we slide across the grouped images until the second picture is fully in the frame and then we change the text at the top to dining. Then, as you'll notice when we zoom down in here, that I have used to match and move transition. And now you can see it's already giving us that scrolling effect. So even though this is just four slides in total, it just adds that little bit of dynamism that we wish to have to our designs and to our templates, rather than it being just flat images, just by adding that simple change of image, and using the match move lets us create this effect. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can catch all 30 of my tutorials in the 30 day animation challenge. Thanks for watching.